At a port in the Middle East, war material from America is flowing in on an ever-rising flood tide. Here, where the turquoise sea meets the sunburned desert in a narrow fringe of palms, the equipment is being unloaded with a record-breaking rhythm. The first American ship at this port arrived on Independence Day, a good omen, and they started unloading her almost before she'd tied up. Since then, the job has been going forward non-stop. This means a 24-hour day worked in willing ships by British Tommies, Egyptian dockers and American technicians. It's a heartening sight. Every nook and cranny has been packed with coils of wire, motor tires, medical stores, and even packages of boot polish. Not a cubic foot is wasted. Just how much material is coming and how often it arrives is an obvious war secret. But it's no secret to say the activity on this waterfront is most encouraging. Yes, the Middle East is certainly getting the goods. Thanks, Mr. Roosevelt. Yeah.